Here is the second video in our series for building pancake stairs and it has taken a while for me to make this video because the other one wasn't doing very well. And that is my excuse for that. So if this one does well, then I will definitely make more of them. So let's take a look at what we have here. Four separate boxes. And we can go over here and see where we have built four of them. And each of them will be a specific size and width to create each one of the steps in the stairway to make each one of the steps equal in both depth and width. Now the first thing I want to point out is that you don't need to go all the way to the end here in some cases and you can see here where we didn't and it's really not creating a problem. However to fix that we would just need to move this board over and then have a gap in between these boards here and you can see how it works out over here. And I would definitely prefer this over the previous example. And then of course we have decking or tread lumber shaped to fit in both boxes. And again, I'm just kind of throwing out some ideas here to help you figure out what might be a good way for you to build this type of a stairway. In my next example, I'm going to leave out some of these boards because you really don't need them. As long as we have these boards at the end, and we can always make these shorter. Or for example, cut one of the decking boards in half and then put one of them here and one of them here. And I provided you with a couple of different examples here. A full board here, full board here, full board here, full width of a board. And then something like this might work out for you to where you don't need a smaller board. So you can eliminate this and save a few dollars. And let's go ahead and remove a couple of these so you can get a good look at how these boxes are built. And with this method, you could nail the boxes together or use straps. And I think what I have here are six inch straps. And then I have a 24 inch strap here. And if you use screws, you're going to be able to take everything apart if you ever need to. And sometimes you might need to take stuff apart so that you can clean out the debris that gets trapped in this area here. And of course our measurements, since we have 10 inch steps and a three foot wide stairway, the width of each one of these boxes will be three feet. And if you just simply start with your first 10 inch box, you can work your way up by adding 10 inches to each one of the boxes. And you can do it either way. I can start with a 40 inch box. I have four steps. So I can have this box 40 inches deep, 30 inches deep, 20 inches, and 10 inches. If I wanted 11 inch steps, I would make this 11 inches, this one 22 inches, this one 33 inches, and this one 44 inches. And if I wanted a wider stairway, I could just simply adjust these measurements accordingly. And of course, you might need to add some more joists in this area here to allow for the maximum span of the material you're going to be using. And hopefully that makes sense. Just going to kind of zoom in here, give you an idea of the measurements. And I did use two by six here. And when I add an inch and a half decking to that, that's going to give me a seven inch tall step or a step with a seven inch riser. Next up, let's go ahead and head over to the straps, give you a better idea of how you might be able to use them. For example, I have this one here at the front of the step and it's raised up a little bit. The next one here is going to be a little bit lower and we're going to move it away from the front of the step. And this one here is going to be moved over a little bit further. And of course, the one strap here that's going to be tying everything together. And I don't think you're going to need more than two straps per step. That would suggest a connection here and a connection here. And then, of course, you would just simply work your way up with those connections. And hopefully that helps. I will be making more videos if there's an interest in this one. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.